foundation, doing my week two predictions. Um, hopefully, I can improve. Especially one game, I want I want that to improve. I was only nine and seven, so I want to improve one, at least one more game. <laughs> well, better be that one game. Uh, but anyway, let's go. Um, Jets at the Bills. Um, these short weeks seem to tend to um, favor the home team a little bit more. Uh, I was a little bit disappointing that it was a little bit disappointing to see how the the offense struggled on the Bills, but they did sweep. I think they did sweep the. Jets last year, and plus kept them out of the playoffs, so they have that mental edge over the the Jets. Um, Jets, you know, they can put up some points, but you know, but I think they're just gonna struggle in this game, um, being a short week as well too. Um, next, the uh, 49ers at the Panthers. Panthers gotta go with them. Um, Ten days off, you know, at home, um, losing the way they did, and on top of that, you know. I think they're going to want to make a statement to prove that they're still one of the, the NFL teams to beat. Um, 49ers, I knew they could play defense. I knew they could run the ball. Uh, I didn't know they was going to shut them out, but I think they're going to be taking down a notch a little bit, plus having a short week um, added to that. Um, next, the Ravens and the Browns. Uh, rolling with the Ravens. Ravens, shot, you know, they impressed me a little bit with their defense. Uh, Suggled like he's he's slowly getting back into shape. He struggled a little bit, but you know, with with time and all that, he's gonna he's gonna have a lot of soreness. He got to get over that, and then he's gonna be fine. Um, offensively, I can see them uh, being more explosive, more productive. Um, the Browns, you know, again, Cowboys fan. This is why I didn't want to sign ID three. He's proven that he's way more injury prone than Romo than Romo has, has ever been. Um, so. So yeah, you know, and there's a lot of lot of things going on with the with the Browns, but again, going well with the Ravens, um, and for the Ravens also keep keep on the 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 pressure on the North if they want to win the North. Uh, next, the Titans and uh, the Lions. The Lions show they could score some points, score some points without um with, with without Megatron. Some people will say, you know, even me, I you know, I'm not that high on the. I'm not high on the, the Colts defense, but to do that on the road is still very, very, very um, impressive, you know. So, you know, and, and I, I cannot, you know, Mariota, got to shout out him again. Uh, I just can't pick them on the road, you know. He looks like he's improving, and Murray looks revitalized. The defense looks uh, very, uh, flies to the ball, but at the same time, you know, it's hard to go on the road like that. Um, anyway, uh, going on, Chiefs at the Texans, you know, last year's wild card massacre, um, a different quarterback, but, you know, I'm not going to say it's the same results, but I think, you know, the Chiefs now show that they could come back from behind from, from a, a decent de de deficit, and also that defense, you know, they, they're going to find ways to create turnovers, Osweiler did, I think, throw a pick. Um, without pushing a, a huge loss for their def uh, the Texans defense, so I can see the running game being more effective for the Chiefs. Um, next, the Dolphins and the the Patriots. People talk about you know home field advantage advantages. Patriots have one of the best advantages as well too. Look at their record, and you know, and you know, and. Uh, Garoppolo who look like he's holding on the fort. Uh, if ground comes back, you know, the, another weapon to be added. Um, Miami, Miami, this the, sorry. Miami, this the, um, this the thing. I don't, you know, defensively they was holding it down. Obviously they couldn't really do anything. So, you know, I mean, they had their one drop. They could have won the game with their one, with their one, um, with their one pass, but it didn't happen, so. I can see them. Uh, I can see that. I can, you just cannot go against Patriots at home. Next, the uh, Saints and the Giants. Saints, do me a favor, please. Win at all costs. You know, just win. You know, beat them. No, but uh, seriously, I think the Giants are gonna win this game. Um, they did something that the Saints didn't do in the offseason, even though they drafted uh, what his name uh, ranking. You know, but ranking is out now. But um, they, you know. The Giants did improve their defense where Saints didn't. They had that one shootout, but again, 
this is at home. This is at uh, on the road. Saints is a different team on the road. I think Drew Brees is going. It's going to be more high scoring there, but I, I mean it's going to be a bit more offensive explosion. But at the same time, I just cannot see them doing that on the road. I think they, they slowly but surely. I think the defense is going to force you know with the offensive firepower on the Giants side. Um, I I think it's you know the defense sooner or later is going to capitalize. On Drew Brees trying to keep up the the points with the with the Gi with the Giants offense, so you know. But Saints do me a favor, beat them. <laughs> uh, next, Goodell, you know, Goodell will probably be having an extra eye on this game, the uh, Bengals and the Steelers. Um, Steelers, you know, the fans base is gonna be jacked for this game. You know, Big Ben was still showing that he's one of the best in the best in the league. Uh, Antonio Brown, same thing. You know, one, trying to show, you know, he's showing that he's one of the best. Um, this game is going to be close, but I think the Steelers are going to pull this game out. Uh, next, um, Buccaneers at the Cardinals. Cardinals let that one slip by. You know, they, they're going to have to win this game to prove that they that they they are one of the favorites in the NFC, but they got to prove it. Um, defensively, I think they're going to do a better job. Offensively, I think they can have, you know, more production, you know, with the running game of Johnson and, and the passing game, you know, Fitzgerald. Uh, I think he's announcing his last year, so that, you know I think they're gonna want to show out for him. Um, as far as Tampa Bay goes, you know very promising for Winston to score that much points on the road. You know, no matter who you play, that's impressive for a young guy to do that. So he's step, taking a step closer, becoming the franchise quarterback. Um, next, Seahawks and the Rams. At the Rams, uh, this game is a toss-up to me. I, I, you know, because Rams seem to hold a great game for the Seahawks for some reason, you know, and then Russell Wilson being injured. Um, but it's, I, I'm going to roll with the Seahawks because that was embarrassing what happened to, you know, short week, you know, as well to, you know, very embarrassing for for the Rams, you know. Uh, Colts at the, at the Broncos. Um, Broncos 10 days off, you know, with that defense, I mean, you know, and, you know, you know, to come back and for and for the Colts, you know, to come back in the game to score that much points to come back, you know, Denver's defense is Denver's defense is not the Lions' defense. So, you know, I, I and on the road again, you know, you know, Denver at home, you know, gotta go with the Broncos. Next, the uh, uh, Jaguars and the Chargers. Uh, Chargers, because I think it's just a lot to fly over um, cross country. Um, Keenan Allen, though that that's the only thing I was kind of hesitating with, um, but I, I can I think they can I think they can uh, with Philip Rivers I think they can pull out this game, uh, it, but if Jacksonville can it can show that they can um, not turn over the ball but they can score so they they can they have a chance. Uh, next Packers and the Vikings, uh, Vikings doing their their new stadium debut. Um, I don't go with the Vikings just because. I think um, Peterson. I think he's shown that he can have success against the Packers. Um, defensively, again, they're solid. Um, but never know with Aaron Rodgers. But I just gonna go with the whole team. I think the fan base is gonna be real jacked for that game too. Finally, uh, Bears. I mean, Eagles at the Bears. Bears, do me a favor to beat the hell out of the Eagles. <laughs> um, no, but you know, I think they have a more. You know they're they're better overall, better than the 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 Browns. So offensively, I think they can they're gonna put a lot more pressure. Uh, to, they're gonna have they're gonna score a little bit more points. And defensively, I think it's another test for Wentz. You know, can he keep can he keep up with the with the points? You know, I mean the Eagles defense can make sure that it, it doesn't get that way. But but I think I think if if it comes down to if can Wentz can Wentz and the offense. Um, Get that much points on to keep up with the Bears, and you know, and then again, defensively they're more better than the Browns. So can Wentz be, you know, that accurate? That are, it's another test for them. But I mean, you know, Eagles fans was, you know, Eagles fans is excited as it should be. That I mean, that was that's some accurate stroke. That, uh, but but I, what I like him to be cut down to earth. Oh yeah, just beat the hell out of them, the Bears. Um, anyway, I'll do my another video for. The Cowboys and the Redskins um, in another video. Okay, mahalo for watching. Paniolo boys, go Cowboys.